All right, so in this video, I'll be putting some sound deadening material from Dynamat in the trunk of my 2014 Honda Accord. And this past summer, I put some sound deadening material in the hood of my 2008 Toyota Tundra. And the, the results were quite surprising, actually. Video right there. And I wanted to try something different because some people have been asking me if I could do a video of just placing some sound deadening material only in the trunk to see if it actually makes a difference because a lot of the videos they usually put it where it matters the most it's usually in the well the undercarriage so you'd have to remove the seats remove the carpeting and then place your sound deadening material and then reinstall everything which can be a little bit intimidating for some people and also in the doors of the vehicle because that's where you get a lot of road noise as well and also it helps with the sound system of the vehicle. We found out how much noise was eliminated by sound deadening the hood of a vehicle and now we are going to try to sound deaden the trunk of the vehicle. So the first thing I'll do is I'll drive 90 kilometers an hour on the same stretch of highway and I'll just do a sound test with my decibel meter to see the reading for with and without sound deadening material and also I'll do a sound test with the seats down to kind of simulate what it would be if I were driving a hatchback something where the trunk is more exposed than a car because that's where you might actually see the most difference if you're driving a hatchback or driving a van I think you'd see a little bit more of sound deadening with those types of vehicles because you don't have the seats drowning out a lot of the noise that would be coming in from the trunk area. So I'll be doing the trunk lid and I'll see how much it helps and if it actually helps at all. The thing is, if you think that just reducing the noise by one or two decibels or three decibels doesn't really make a difference, well, the rule is in sound, if you can just decrease the noise by only three decibels, you're essentially cutting the noise in half of what a human ear can hear. So really, if you can cut the noise by just one decibel by placing just a little bit of sound deadening material in the trunk lid, then maybe it's worth it. And then we'll try to add some more sound deadening material in the trunk bottom, basically where the spare tire is and where you would be getting a little bit more road noise. And also it might actually help with the sound system. What we're going to do, we're going to take off and we're going to take some sound test of the vehicle without any sound deadening material and then we'll go back in the garage and add it in the car trunk lid and or door and then we'll see how much decibels is decreased so let's go try that out all right so now the car is going at 90 kilometers an hour All right, so the sound deadening material that we're using today is called Extreme Dynamat. All right, so most of these clips are pretty well the same from all car manufacturers. You have this little opening. All you do is you take your flathead and you pop that out. And it's that easy. This stuff is heated pretty high. It is also quite expensive compared to some other sound deadening material. They also sell a lot cheaper material like Amazon Basic and I will make a video in the future for what's the difference. Is it worth going with something this expensive versus just Amazon Basic? We will place some sound deadening material on the inside here and then we'll place some on the outer side but just make sure not to cover those holes now you want to make sure also that the area that you'll be placing the sound deadening material is also room temperature you don't want it too cold it's not as warm as you would like to see it then it's not a bad idea to have a heat gun but not everybody has heat guns so you can just take a hair dryer just use a hair dryer and blow some hot air on it until it's warm enough to Stick your sound deadening material on it and you should be good to go. Felt. It doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be covering it up with the felt anyway, so I wouldn't worry. All right, so now it's time to put the cover back on. Now, this took me maybe 20, 30 minutes to do. It's not something that's terribly difficult. You just take a few clips off, you pop the felt off, and you, you just install your sound deadening material. This is one of the easiest places to install it in your vehicle. 
is your trunk and of course your hood. This is the least messiest place to install it because under the hood it'll be very, very dirty, especially if your car is older. The All right, so now that we have completed our sound test, it's safe to say that it will reduce by maybe half a decibel. And that is only the trunk lid. Now we'll go back and add some sound deadening material in the bottom of the trunk. So that might eliminate more of the actual road noise. So let's go and add our sound deadening material. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is spray the inside with a cleaner. If you want to do something that's good also as a degreaser because there might be some oils in there, anything that might prevent the self adhesive from working, you would want to take that out of there. And once you completely cleaned it, we're gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then we're gonna put our sound deadening material and we're gonna go take another sound test with our decibel meter and find out if it actually makes a difference. All right, so now I'm almost done placing the sound deadening material. As you can see, I can't really place it everywhere because of what's already there, but I only have a few spots left in between the holes and then I will start putting the felt back on and the wheel and we'll go and take a decibel test to see if there's much difference. But really the most important place would be the bottom and also where the wheel well is. So we'll be adding a little bit more there and adding a little bit more there and just to see if the road noise can be a little bit uh, decreased. Here I am. The sound deadening material is completely installed in the trunk area and we're gonna find out on the same stretch of road that we did our first few tests to find out if it did any difference on our decibel meter and also I'll be able to kind of see or feel if I can feel or hear any difference whatsoever. All right, so now the seats are down. Sports car, 72. Oh, it's hovering around 72 decibels. All right, so as you can see, the results are in and we have about one decibel lower than what it was with the seats down without the sound deadening insulation. So one decibel, is it worth it? Well, it's going to make your your music, your sound, sound better. Most of the time, that's why people are putting sound degnant material in the trunk, because you have speakers there and the reverberation of metal on metal, it can, you know, not sound as good as if you had sound deadening insulation. But does it really take away a lot of road noise? One decibel. Now, is one decibel enough? Well, I don't think it's enough really to go and spend a whole lot of money on sound deadening material. I, if you have a choice, I'd spend the expensive sound deadening material like Dynamat, which is a lot more expensive than let's say Amazon Basics sound deadening material. I would put the cheaper sound deadening material in the trunk and I'd put the most expensive sound deadening material where it really matters, right underneath you. If you're willing to take out the seats and take out the carpeting of your floor, that's where I'd put the heavy duty stuff and in the doors. In the trunk of a car, especially where the seats are folded up, I just don't see the benefit of actually spending the money on putting sound deadening material there that is super expensive. I just go with the cheaper stuff for the trunk and save the more expensive stuff for where it matters the most, where you'll see the most difference. So that's my tip. So hopefully you found this video a little bit more informative than some, because a lot of videos I found that they show you how to install the sound deadening material, but they don't really show you how scientifically if there's a lot of decibels that are decreased. One decibel is still, you know, it's still enough, but it's not it's not worth spending hundreds of dollars and adding a lot of mass in your trunk. Because some people will say, well, what happens if you add that heavy mass in the trunk underneath your floors and you know, in the doors? Is it going to do anything with fuel economy? Well, yes, because if you put 100 pounds of sound deadening material all over your car, well, your car weighs now 100 pounds more. So yes, it's going to make a difference. Is it worth it? It's a trade-off. You have to, that's why basically cars today, 
they sound a lot more tinny. They're not as heavy as cars back in the day. And one place where they save money and cut costs is sound deadening material. And also, it's more important these days to have a car competing with another car of the same type that would have maybe two or one miles per gallon better on the road than the other one fuel consumption so that's why they don't really want to add too much weight so then you just have to ask yourself if i do put a lot of sound deadening material in my vehicle yes you will see a little bit of a decrease in fuel economy is it something that you'll actually notice probably not but it is a trade-off your car will sound better when you open and close when i open and close the trunk it does sound different it sounds heavier it sounds more sturdy but it will play a factor in fuel economy so as i said it's a trade-off but for an older vehicle like this if you can make it sound like a luxury vehicle then you know i think it's worth it thank you very much for watching and hopefully you like this video and let me know in the comment section below if you like this uh, type of video and these types of tests i know it's not like super scientific i'll have people blasting me in the comment section with um i don't mind i like that so if you do want to blast me make sure to do it in the comment section i like that thank you